Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up the um, bus drive simulator or bus company simulator DLC for OMC2. So you've just bought this DLC from the Steam store and you have absolutely no idea what you're doing as seems to be the case with people right now. So this little video here should hopefully help you guys um, show you how to set it all up, how to get it all working. So first thing you need to do is once the mod has been installed, you play, go up to OMC and click on play. And make sure you select Bus Bet Tube Simulator. So you have two op launch options. You have OMC2 and Bus Bet Tube Simulator. Select this one and click on play. It will now start loading up the Bus Company Simulator DLC. There you go, it's searching for updates. And the first thing you'll to do is either log into an account you've already got or create a new profile. So in this case, I'll call it Draw Your Games. Email address, put in your email. So in this case, drawyourgames at gmail.com. Password, stick whatever password you're using, whatever. And finally, click on confirm. Then I create a new profile, compile the list of sceneries you got, and it will now log you into the game. So there are two main options you got for yourself you have single player and you have multiplayer. If you want single player, you click on single player. And with a few seconds of extra loading, because it's still in the um, early like development of this you can now select different options you've got a career mode you have a free play and you have a ranking which compares you to every other driver in the um, world so, so if you want to start a career mode click on career and it'll let you start a new career it'll give you a little tutorial intro bit as well and the first thing you want to do within single player career mode is get a bank loan because you cannot afford any buses so pick a map in this case i'll just get bus to west country now Go to the finances and take a loan of 20,000 euros. That way you can now afford a bus. So go back, select manage maps. You can now buy yourself new depots and so forth once you earn enough money and points. And you can go to the buses section, select the slot and click on buy a new bus. We can then choose between first hand and second hand buses. So for example, let's buy ourselves a London City bus 400. You will go for a Eco Life because the first one I just clicked on. Then go back out, back out. There you go. So back out in the main um, career menu. Now you can select on Driver Tour. Select a um, system. So for example, we will drive this one here. So select on Drive. We can make your own shift. Select a bus you're driving. Select Drive with Bus. Pick your starting points. In this case, um, Tottenham's Rail Station. So we'll select this. And hopefully, if you have the correct HOF file, it automatically um, selects which one you're using. So, finally, click on Next, and it will now load up OMC. You may have an error. Generally, for something like this, in case AI list, you can click on Start anyway. But if you're missing like spleens or models, try look for these um, through the like manuals and downloading the correct packages. So it will now start OMC2, where you can then follow the on-screen instructions to start the actual journey. So once OMC has started. It'll tell you to just click on start as all the defaults have been set up and now it'll load you up your map and bus as you have selected within the bus company simulator DLC. So once the simulator has loaded, you can now follow the on-screen instructions. So down here you've got this little arrow, select on the timetable and use this information here to set up your route. So in this case we're at line 35, circulation 4 and starting at quarter past 4. 1, click on OK, click on OK and you can now remove this information and from then on you can now follow the on-screen instructions. So you have the map down below, you have the route above and the rest is self-explanatory. And finally once you have arrived at the end of the route, what we can now do is select on menu, then click on terminate tour and it will send you back into Bus Company Simulator and give you the points and stats from the end of your route. So say you want to do multiplayer instead as, as opposed to a um, single player. So what you can do is select on multiplayer. Select your character out of the pre-default Unreal Engine characters. I'll just go normal guy here. Now what you can do is if you have 100,000 euros from either advanced omnibus driver or from a previous company you can start your own company using this option here but if you don't what you can do is apply for a new company select any company you want to join 
and then click on application. If you meet their requirements, in this case you have a ranking of 1, which requires a 1, your application will get accepted in a probationary period. What you can do is select enter. Once you're inside the um, depot, what you can now do is run over to the left wall over here to the shifts board. Where you can then press E to open up the uh, menu. Select a shift you want to drive, so in this case go for a spontaneous tour, select the map you've got installed, and select one of the routes available for you. Select which route you want to do, in this case I'm going to go for the Kopsinskiego to Filinskiego routes. Commit a shift, and you should have yourself um, sorted. So it might ask you for permission for the map, just click on confirm, and you'll automatically have access to that. And finally, what you can now do is head towards the exit, head down the sets of stairs, and reach the bus depot, where over here you can select which bus you'll be driving on the route. So in this case, I'll just pick one over here. The two-door with voice transition. Press E to interact with it. It will open up the menu. And what you can then do is select drive with bus. And if you've got it installed in your OMSI, um, it also asks for permission to click on confirm again. Select your starting points. In this case, it is Copin Skiego. So search for Copin Skiego on your list, which is this one. And then click on next, to which it will then load up OMSI just like in single player. And also, just like before, in the single player mode, you can just follow the on-screen instructions to select which route you're driving. So in this case, the 865, 865 to pa circulation 1, OK. And just drive the route as you did before. And just like before, when you get to the end of the route, you then go up to Menu, select Terminate Tour. And the score sheet will then load up showing you the stops you made, how they went, punctuality, passenger comfort, pa driver rating, and all the usual stats you normally get. It will then show you some financial stuff, so how much profit you get from driving this journey and any losses you gain as well. Likewise, it is also a good practice to come over to these computers over here. Select E when you're looking at a computer, to which you'll then sit down and you can then start browsing some of the company facts and data such as your finances, your rank, buses in the company, time and all other information. Likewise, you can also select on all of them and manage bills, pay back the bills you've paid for early on the buses and possibly do some training sessions as well depending on what the company has available for you. One thing with this mod as well, from the main menu, what you can do is also view your driver profile and basically this is a little overview of your driving, how passengers think of you and your overall rating as a bus driver. Based off the um, defaults on the profile but using its own built-in system as well. So that's a quick little overview of Bus Company Simulator. So it can be a little bit complicated depending on how you do it and whilst it's not a proper in-depth full tutorial of how it works it's just a quick look little overview of the functions and shows you how the programs work so i hope you, some of you guys found this helpful do leave a like if you did do subscribe and i will definitely see you guys next time goodbye